Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Airtable for sales CRM. Airtable is perfect way how you can use like the CRM effectively. So the first thing you want to do is just click on the templates when you're going to be where you're going to find your basis. Here in the templates you want to write in a search CRM. And when you're going to be here you can choose between the sales CRM or simple sales CRM. So I'm going to show you uh, the sales CRM and also I'm going to show the simple sales CRM and then you can decide which one you want because I think both of them are really great. So click on it, click use template. Now here when you're going to click use template you need to choose a workspace to which you're going to add it. So let's say if your workspace is called work or your business or whatever you would add it there. Add a base. So let's just wait until it loads and here we got it. So I'm going to open it and what we can actually find it because right now it can seems that it's a lot of stuff but in the moment when you're going to understand it in that moment you're going to be well off. So right now when you're going to enter sales CRM you're going to find opportunities, interactions, accounts and contacts. Now I'm going to delete all of these and also accounts and contacts and then I'm going to also delete all the opportunities so you can actually see how it works. But I want to show you on this example what you can actually find here and how effective it can be. So in the opportunities, you're going to find the opportunity name. Then you have option to see the status of if it's going to be proposal, evaluation, negotiation and the priority. Then you're going to have the owner who is the owner of it. Then you have account which are going to uh, connect. This is a linked a link to another record. Then you have a revenue, deadline, close date. That's pretty straightforward. Last contact. And then you're going to have the primary contact for. So again, this is a linked thing. Same with the interaction that I'm going to show that's also linked. So here you would have all the opportunities. Now what you can do is to have group by owner. So this is uh, like a filtered a group by by a people. So let's say that you would find if you have employees, you would find everything here. Then I'm going to find sales pipeline. And when you're going to have a sales pipeline, again, you are going to have it sorted by one by one field. And how you're sorting it out is when, when you could come here to sort it by one field, you can easily switch here to let's say a status and look everything changes. So I'm going to have it filtered by priority and I can stack it by status, right? Which is going to be qualification, proposal, evaluation, negotiation, closed one, closed lost and everything would be right here. Then another thing you have is a value by stage. So here you would have for every single group that you have as a status, as a qualification, you're going to have it value by stage, like right? 41,000 here, 145,000, 70,000. Then you're going to find the closed one here. So all the fields that are same, all the tasks and opportunity names are same. So it's just like this changes, right? Proposal and close dates. Uh, this is just a data. Uh, this is a uh, calendar view. So that's how opportunities work and what you can find in opportunity. The further we go, the next thing are interactions. Interaction, you're going to find the calls and meetings here. So you see right here, this is a group by opportunity. So BPS pilot, second use case. And I can easily remove it. And I got to see the type here, right? discovery, pricing discussion, legal discussion. Then I'm going to find a status, which is again, which is a lookup from the opportunities. And then we have the opportunity and contact again. And I can easily 
click on the contact and see it right here. Now when we go further to accounts, in accounts you're going to find the name of the companies as uh, you can find here that Ace Poly, which is a name, then industry in which they are working in, size of it, company website, LinkedIn, and again connected contact, and opportunity and HQ. So the last thing are contacts. In the contacts, you're going to have the name and the organization. So that's a combination of name and account. You would find it right here. Then you can choose if it's going to be VIP. You have email, phone, title, department in which they are working in. LinkedIn interaction opportunities. So what we're going to do now, guys, I'm going to delete all the contacts, all the accounts, all the opportunities and we're going to create it together. All right. So let me delete all of this and I'm going to click delete. Yes. We see it right here. Accounts. I'm going to delete all. And also interaction delete and opportunities delete. And let's the fun begin. So first thing first, what we're going to add is our name of the company. So let's say this is going to be a Sanwi company. Oh, no, 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 we want to have one. Sanwi company. Okay, it's moving for me. So Sanwi company, then what you can do is to simply industry and I can have, let's say an insurance size one to 10, then company website. And I can have it look, I'm going to sort it by one field. Company website can be wow.youtube.com, whatever company LinkedIn, you would add it right here. Contacts. We don't have contact yet, but we are going to add it right here. Opportunities. We don't have it yet, but we will add it. HQ address map catch. We can add it there later. Now, when we have the company, what I can do, I can simply click on the contacts. And again, I start here a name, Marcus client. Organic account is that one that we created. And we see right here, Sanvi company, we can choose it as a VIP. I can add an email address. So I can easily add a phone number title. Then you can simply choose a department. Let's say marketing LinkedIn and then interactions. We don't have it yet, but we can add it and opportunities. We didn't have it yet, but we can add it. Now, when I go back to the accounts, I can see the contact and look what will happen in the moment It's everything is linked together. So in the moment when you have contacts here, you can click on it and you see right here, the contact. So you're going to find the contact and now I can simply go to opportunity. So when I'm going to be an opportunity name, let's say this is going to be a sun we deal. And first thing first, what we can find here is what a status. And let's say this is going to be evaluation. Right. But I would need to delete all of these, right? Okay, now it's fine. So I would have a new record called Sanwi or Sanwi deal, which is going to be a status called proposal. I can choose a priority, let's say high. Now when you go further, I can simply choose an owner, which is going to be me. I'm going to choose an account which I already have the Sanvi company. Then I'm going to find an estimate value. 
Let's say it's going to be $15,000. Proposal deadline. Expected close date. Again, you choose it. Like there is nothing to be much more ex like talk to you about. Last contact. Primary contact four. And I can choose the Marcus client. And then if I have interaction, I can edit right here. So here we have a deal. Now when I would go further, I'm going to have the group by owner and I see that I have only one deal. If I would have like multiple people on this account and uh, you would find multiple like employees here. Say sales pipeline, you would find a proposal right here. And you can switch between uh, evaluation, proposal, negotiation. Then you're going to find the value by stage here. So you can value it proposal high and see the closed one. So if I'm going to be in sales pipeline and I'm going to have it as a closed one and I would click on a closed one, I can see the status right here. It's a closed one. Then proposal close dates as in a date, you would find it here. So that's pretty good. Now when you go further on interaction, you're going to have the calls and meetings. And you can easily uh, like add an interaction here. So again, I'm going to delete all of these and I can add interaction. So when I'm going to open it, a type, let's say it's going to be a pricing discussion. So I can have it like this, but again, you can have it uh, in a different way a note. So this can be, let's say, sun we, I can add record for opportunity, the deal, sun we deal pricing discussion, right? Or I can have demo or discovery or legal discussion. So based on opportunity, it will automatically add you the combination of type and the opportunity. And you can add a contact here. And when you got it, Here you got covered everything. Now you can simply choose an entry form and you can add it also through the entry form, but this is pretty much it how we can use it. So this is how we can use the CRM. And what I'm going to show you right now, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm going to click on the templates now and I'm going to show you the simple CRM. Simple sales CRM, use template. And again, I can add it to Sanvi. Okay. And here, what we can find is this is going to be a little bit easier. So what do you, what do you have here is a deals. Then you're going to see the type if it's going to be what equipment list, equipment purchase, details, amount, account, stage. Then you're going to find the large deals or also the product, like what you're actually selling. If you want to have it, you can have this too. Also contacts in the contacts, you can simply add an email address, phone number, picture, LinkedIn profile. So everything you can have here. Then you can have also interactions. And this is what we also added. So I can add a subject. So let's say call with company, right? And I can add a type here, an email contacts involved. Again, I can add when at this time. Again, relate detail deals and notes to it. So these are the interactions that you can have, but also the simple cell CRM. If you don't have much, if you don't need much, it's like really effective what you can do here. And then you're going to find also the companies and this is literally the same thing. So I can add a sun we company. I can add an address. Then description of it. Also the 
the type, what kind of type it is. So if it's an online media, newspaper, media group, how many employees they got, and then I can simply choose a contact and opportunities. So this is pretty much it, how we can do it. If you can have any questions, guys, let me down in the comments. I'm really happy to uh, hear your thoughts. And these templates are really good for managing and like having your own CRM. So thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.